Well, I'm delighted to receive this award. I'm, I'll start by thanking the Provost and Leonard Hobbs and all the members of the Trinity Research and Innovation Office. It's indeed a great honour to be singled out amongst the, all the great scientists in Trinity and the people who have been involved in innovation activity over the last year. Um, I'd like to also thank my research team because none of this would be possible without the hard work, the research that goes on in my lab with PhD students and postdocs. There have been about 50 PhD students in my career and a similar number of postdocs, all of who have contributed to the discoveries that have led to the patents that have led to the commercial activity. The people in Trinity Research and Innovation have been unbelievably helpful over the years. Um, I'm going to mention a few, and I'm, I'm sorry to those who I, I miss out on. Emily Vereker, when she was in the office, was instrumental in helping me file a lot of the patents, and more recently, Emma and Aoife helped with those. But also people like um, Deirdre Cadden, Camilla Kelly, Kieran McAvoy, Una Kinsman, and others who helped me in submitting the grant applications that led to the funding that resulted in the formation of companies. So really it all started with SFI funding when I came to Trinity in 2002. I was lucky enough to be one of the first recipients of a large, when I say large, six million euro um, research funding just for my own group and that allowed me to really expand my group dramatically. One of the conditions of SFI funding was to um, protect our intellectual property and that changed our mindset. And in the five years of that first um, SFI grant, we published around 50 papers. We filed about um, six to eight patents, and we founded a startup company at the end of it. This was co-founded with, with Luke O'Neill, um, Mark Heffernan, and Dermot Keller, Opsona Therapeutics. That company went on to raise 65 million in venture funding and had 23 people employed at its peak. It got into phase two um, with its lead product, but that product failed in, in, in phase two um, and the company w it was went by the board then. Um, but I think the lesson I learned from that was, um, you know, an entrepreneurial um, spirit and to not be put off by failure and in fact if anything you learn a lot more from failure than you do from success so we and I went on to found a, a second startup company Trimod with um, Jeremy Skillington in the cancer area um, that too didn't get to the level that we'd have liked to have got but we did raise seed funding it was in the middle of the recession so it was bad timing I'm now hoping to um, and make an announcement in coming weeks about a, a third venture that we're close to securing funding for. My activity uh, in commercial uh, sense has been driven by basic research. So all the discoveries that re result in the patents come from funding of basic fundamental research. And thanks to SFI and other funders like the Health Research Board, Enterprise Ireland, European Union, but also through industry. Over the years, I've had a lot of collaborations with industry. Um, these are pharmaceutical companies that are interested in anti-inflammatory therapeutics or vaccines. And we've led a number of strategic partnership. The most recent of these, of course, is the, the COVID-19 response, um, the immunology project. Um, we were lucky enough to get 2.4 million from the Isle Irish Bank, and that was through the work we that the, the Trinity Foundation did, and I was assisting them with that. So that was a, a, the start of a new project, which is now running and involves about um, 20 postdoctoral fellows, um, several labs here in Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute, but also in Trinity Translation and Medicines Institute. So that's a part of the global. Um, research effort, effort to tackle um, COVID-19 and we're, we're developing new testing methods, looking at the immune response in patients and helping to design um, effective therapies and also part of the vaccine program. We've heard very good news in the last few days about vaccines, but this is only the beginning of the hunt to get a really long-term effective vaccine that has sustained protective immunity. And, and, and this project is also involved in that area. When we work in the lab doing basic research, sometimes we stumble across things which are very interesting. And it's really been able to recognize the commercial potential of those discoveries and not to disclose them before filing patents. And I think that's key to successful entrepreneurship, to spot the discoveries that have 
commercial potential. And we were lucky enough to make some discoveries in my lab where we filed patents that ended up being licensed to either pharma or to our own startup companies. So that was um, really the mantra at how I operated over the last 20 years when that I've been in Trinity of making sure that we filed patents around important discoveries, but not about just everything, the really important ones that we thought would result in commercial development. Uh, I'd like to finish by thanking important people in my life, my family. Um, I wouldn't have got to where I am today without the huge support of my wife, Marina Lynch, who's also a scientist and a Trinity professor in neuroscience. She's been incredibly supportive and helpful over the years in terms of you know, being in the background and being able to discuss across the dinner table science almost on a nightly basis. I'd um, also like to thank my, my two children. My daughter, Ivana, is also an immunologist. She's currently a postdoc in Harvard and has already published probably more big papers in her career than I have in my whole life to date. My son as well, Tim, is an engineer and he has just returned to college to do architecture. Um, so he's following his passion as well. So as well as thanking my family, I'd like to thank the Provost and Trinity Research and Innovation for this award. It's indeed a huge honour to be given the 2020 Provost Innovation Award.